Okay, we haven't got time to go around the entire circle. I hope that's okay. So you're all right. <laughs> my apologies for that. We are time is against us. And I just wanted to finish, I suppose, with how I normally finish that exercise, that workshop, and how you might want to take it forward. Okay. Um, are there any people here that use drama in their teaching and use drama exercise? I'm doing, yeah. But it's not school based. It's not school based. And I don't work from school, and it's um, in case I'm forced. Yeah. Great. So, in any learning environment, let's say, or in any, any sort of facilitation environment, let's do it that. What I would then do is let's say we go around the circle and find out who everyone was. Bear in mind, we are a very large group, which is why it's taking us longer. I'd then ask, perhaps not his family members, but I would ask, say, his, uh, where would we have? I'm trying to think. Um, we've had a form teacher, we've had a school teacher, we've had friends, whatever. I'd ask them, say, what piece of advice have you got for Bob? You're aware that he's having a hard time. What piece of advice would you have? Through asking that, you find out, it's a bit like finding out about the welfare officer. We know that this young, lovely young woman over here, that's probably what they like to in her environment, in her school, in her, wherever she is. And, just, and, and it's, also, it gives it a positive. Do you see what I mean? You're, you're ending this dramatic experience on more of a positive. There's hope, I think. Instead of going, well, you know, that's it now, it's just going to be bullied and it's going to be horrific. And where that Karen so eloquently spoke this morning in her speech, you know, that's what we're trying to avoid. So I would suggest just a list of advice. What piece of advice would you have? Perhaps some of the advice isn't positive. If we went to the, the, the girl that was rejected, she'd like, get over it. Again, you're finding out what the truths are as well as experiences. Again, if you've got more time, you can ask people to create. I don't know, short scenes. You could even ask somebody to come here and be Bob, which takes a lot of courage for that person to be Bob. But if you had somebody here as Bob, and I could ask his one teacher to come up to me and say, give me some advice. So suddenly you make it real. You, you see a scene being in that <coughs> yeah? But that's, that's my take on it from a theatre practitioner. But it's just something if you want to do, take it forward. Because it's empowerment, ultimately. You're, te you're teaching somebody how to be empowered. Again, do look up Augusta Boyle if you are interested in these techniques. <coughs> Any questions? <coughs>